Um, we have Rachel Cole on the phone right now. She's been in Scottsdale. Rachel, um, the last time we talked to you, you had mentioned something about the possibility of shots being fired inside the Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall where looters had managed to uh, break into. Oh, no. Have you heard any update on that and, and what's happening where you are? Hey, Karibe. So, so far, there's no further com confirmation on any shots fired within the mall, but we have seen multiple police officers. Oh, here goes one with some expletive spray painted on the side. That's a Scottsdale cruiser. So they're making their way um, away from the scene right now. The SWAT team has since rolled up, um, as well as what I'm told is called the Bearcat, which is uh, holding a lot of SWAT soldiers. They've had to chase a crowd off of the street um, in a way that was, I'm sorry, that was after uh, a gentleman in a Porsche was trying to hit one of the protesters. Uh, I'm not sure how that started and why it escalated, but the Porsche uh, took a different direction to get out of here. And uh, that's when the SWAT team was starting to kind of chase these protesters or now what looks like bystanders. Nobody's really chanting or doing anything. They're just kind of at a stand still with police but again we have SWAT, Scottsdale PD, Chandler police are here, Mesa PD has rolled up to assist as well. The tactics that they are using which is basically a move back command, a very stern move back command is effective. A lot of the people we saw here over the last four hours have gone home. We've seen a couple familiar faces circle back to kind of what looks like taunt police or at least yell their voice their opinions on the situation. Um, but since you guys last checked in with us, we have not gotten further confirmation on any kind of shots fired, but that is why multiple police officers are here. Again, that was word from a Scottsdale sergeant out here who told us that we want nothing to do with the mall because of the looting and the situations inside, which I believe you guys were able to see from Sky 12. Uh, we apologize we couldn't get in there. We definitely want to see um, what's being done to the interior of the mall as we've already seen the exterior damage with our own eyes. And right. Rachel, we, you know, we were asking so many questions about the, the delay, what seemed like a big delay in Scottsdale PD responding to all of this. Um, we're now being told that there are other agencies that have moved in to, to help assist Scottsdale PD, um, Tempe Police and also DPS. Are you, are you seeing that presence there? Yeah, so we, we really are seeing a, a strong police presence from multiple departments and agencies. DPS has also rolled through here a couple of times with different cruisers, uh, as well as many undercover cop cars with lights on and sirens blaring. I can't speak to the speed in which Scottsdale police responded, but I imagine they wanted to have a pretty sharp task and, and plan in place before they moved in on this, knowing that people were already vandalizing buildings and storefronts before they even arrived. So if that's if that's the behavior they, they were getting called about prior to even being present, I can't imagine uh, what they were thinking prior to showing up. But now, yes, a lot of assistance out here um, and, of course, a yelling back and forth. But that, that has fizzled out quite a bit as police continue to use the same tactics to disperse the crowd. They are not using megaphones. They are using their voices and their strength in numbers to try to peacefully disperse the crowd, asking them to please go home, and they are welcome to come back tomorrow night and do it peacefully, but it's going to be a mess out here. I'm not sure any of even the protesters right. want to be right. out here. Yeah. And, and, and again, it, it seems, Rachel, from your vantage point, that the protesters, or not the protesters, the, the vandals and looters, let's call them what they are, uh, have listened for the most part to this message to disperse and go home? Yeah, honestly, uh, there there were several hundred people out here. Uh, that was back when we were mentioning the canine unit being present, as well as horseback officers. Just multiple ways to kind of access people as they are running through back alleys with clothing, and people peeling out, proving that they got a lot of horsepower out here in front of us, which is always appreciated. Um, but yes, as far as I'm concerned, it looks like about a dozen people on the northeast corner near the mall. We're at Highland and, Count and Scottsdale, Highland and Scottsdale Road, to give you some perspective. And then about five people on the other side just kind of checking things out. Probably curious as to how police handle these situations because it is hard to break up large crowds of people, whether, whether you, you know, you're prepared to do so or not.
Yeah, so, okay, so you're saying just a very, very small group left over, maybe about a dozen or so people. Um, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a strong police presence, and I, I think people are, are getting the message. And uh, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of these people standing out here on the corner seem to just be curious about how a situation that has escalated the way that it has kind of, kind of closes out. How does this end? Like when when does everybody decide, OK, it's time to go home to, to go? Right. And the yeah. police, the police will be the last one standing They're They are not going home. They've told us that we are the ones who are going to be going home first. And I don't think there's going to be any argument there. And, and Rachel, maybe you touched on this, but it's so late. I'm so tired. It's 124. So maybe you already said this, but um, sure, girl. At, <laughs> at any point, um, did they have to did the police have to deploy any kind of, um, you know, pepper spray or, or anything like that? Well, you know, it's so interesting that you asked that because hearing Josh and Bianca's reports from downtown and hearing all of the things that they're experiencing from that situation and protest is unlike this. While we've seen the damage and destruction here, mm -hmm. we're not seeing the use of force from police in those tactical ways. We're seeing right. a lot of verbal commands. And as the police move forward in an assembly line and charge forward, they have pushed us back now a half mile from where we originally started, us being the, the group of people watching them do their job. Um, and, and everyone has done so. Now, of course, a lot of people have yelled, we don't have to move, we don't have to do this, we don't have to do that. Even one protester said, it kind of, kind of made me laugh because he goes, they, they didn't give us a reason. Why are we moving? They didn't give us a reason. And I wow. said, well, I didn't ask for one, personally. Uh, I don't I don't need a confrontation with a police officer tonight. No, no. no Again, that's sure. not the idea. The idea is for us Correct. to cover the news, not make the news or be a part exactly. of it. Exactly. Yeah. And I appreciate the full support from the squad back there at the station. And so, yeah, yeah they, it does I think look they're like getting things, the message out here. It does look like things have really calmed down in Scottsdale, which is good news. It'll be interesting uh, yeah, to see, though, I mean, how they go about handling this, because obviously a lot of criminal acts were, were committed um, you know, how will police go about rounding up these people, yeah. finding out who they are? Um, you know, will, will surveillance cameras inside the stores and, you know, outside be enough to be able to, you know, possibly arrest these people, press charges? I mean, those are a lot of questions that, yep. um, you know, we're going to be asking and, and uh, Scottsdale PD. Where do you go from here? What happens tomorrow? How do you prevent this from happening again tomorrow night? Well, Isabella Maldonado, um, you know, one of our law enforcement experts, she said, I don't know how they're going to open tomorrow. I don't think they can. Yeah. I just, I you know, there's been two. We, and we haven't even seen inside Scottsdale Fashion Square the kind of damage they might have done to storefronts inside. 